Hey guys, Drudder here. The calendar tells me it's May the 9th, 2011. I'm uh, just hanging around in the backyard as the sun goes down, and there's an eagle above me circling looking for mice or rabbits or something. And uh, just thinking about a few things. The Well, everyone's sick of hearing about this, I'm sure. Ridiculous Osama bin Laden tape that came out showing uh, an unidentified male um, from behind who is um, apparently being filmed while watching TV, which is kind of <laughs> strange, but he's watching TV of himself, so he, <laughs> he likes to be watched so much <laughs> that he's not only watching himself, but he's filming himself, so later he can watch himself watching himself, I guess. But um, this ridiculous tape doesn't show anything, and it, I mean, it's just so sad that peop that anyone at all, like a single person, is not at least saying, come on, come on, give us something real. This is silly. But um, there's a lot of people who aren't in that boat, and uh, <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. Anyhow, um... The silver price, hey, came uh, up five dollars in 24 hours of trading. It was 33 dollars briefly uh, about 24 hours ago, and at this point now, just well, a few hours ago, we just hit 38. So, a five dollar upswing in 24 hours of trading. That's not unusual these days. Uh, you know, five dollar days from top to bottom. Um, but does that mean that we're, you know, back on the the bubble bandwagon or whatever? You know, as John from Sell a Concept says, it was paper that took it up, and it was paper that took it back down again. From the high 30, high 30 area, maybe 40, probably high 30s, was um, all fluff, in my opinion. Well, not all fluff. I mean, there was legit buyers in there, physical holders and whatnot, but there was a lot of uh, speculation and a lot of money on leverage that just came in, and that's why it was so quick and... You know, John saw it coming. I didn't. I had no idea. Um, I've been through pullbacks before, but that was different. That's different for me. It's a new one. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're learning. So up $5 today. Um, now, we're up to that sort of high 30s mark that I mentioned, and I think that kind of means that um, the market pulled back a little more than it should have, probably. Silver is volatile like that; it'll do that. But it pulled; it came down to 33, um, and I, I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like silver is legitimately worth more than 33 dollars. I don't know about you. Um, it is nice to be able to get three ounces for 100 bucks again. That was nice. Briefly, um, I bought physical. How about you? Anyways. At this point, I'm, what I'm saying is I don't think we're going to see that $5 again in the next 24 hours. Um, you know, maybe we'll come up to 40 again. That would be nice. But I also wouldn't be surprised if we came back down um, even to $30. Uh, you know, this is a paper game, and it's being played with paper rules. And they're playing with our metal this way. Um, so just be smart about it. Remember, you know, what they do with that number actually doesn't change the intrinsic value in the metal that you have holding. Uh, you have it holding, right? I hope. Gotta get that stuff in hand, guys. But I'm gonna cut it off there so it's not too long. And hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you soon. Check this out, my garlic's coming up. There.